But I do wish I hadn't made that mistake and I hadn't got sucked into the idea of all these luxurious yarns. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natty to help you knit with ease, confidence and joy. We're talking knitting for babies again because we do have the knit along coming up. It starts next Monday. The kit and digital pattern are available in the shop. I will leave the links below. If you have yarn in your stash, then the digital pattern will let you into the knit along and you can use your own yarn. Okay, let's get started with today's topic. We're talking knitting for babies so that parents will love what you've knitted. Sometimes this is the thing that you wonder about. It will fit the baby, the colour's nice, it's a great pattern. The baby's parents or carers say, oh we love it, or is it going to get left in a drawer if they don't love it? <laughs> so the first tip I will give you is you need to start with the essentials. It's the kind of knit that will last for longer and that will very likely be absolutely loved. Baby blankets, they are universal. The baby blankets can sit there on the baby in the car seat. They can be in the cot. They can even be put on the floor so the baby can start crawling or just rolling over. Baby blanket can be very much loved for many, many years. I've been knitting the same baby hat patterns and the same baby blanket patterns for 15 years now. I created the baby hat patterns, um, two of the baby hat patterns that we're using in the knit along 15 years ago and I still knit them. Obviously I still knit them because I've now introduced them as a kit and in the knit along. I still love them very much because they're so practical. You just change the colours and you've got a whole new hat. It feels like that anyway. So the baby blanket I knit regularly is the bubble blanket. Um, one of the other items that I've been knitting for very many years as well is the rollover blanket with cables on it. And that's over there in the, in the shop as a digital pattern as well. Knitting essentials can be really helpful for new parents or even for parents who have items already. And a baby blanket can be very specific to a baby as well. Um, and it can be used for many, many years. Okay, your next tip is to knit items once they've been requested. And you can actually specifically go to a parent and say, what would you like me to knit for the baby? And give them a few options if you like. I've got baby hat patterns. I've got scratch mitts I can knit for you. I can knit your face cloths, all sorts of different things. You can knit them at different times of year and you can knit the different sizes as well as the time passes. It could be helpful for them. It can be helpful for you too because you're putting hours and love into each knit that you make and it can be really nice to know that what you use is going to be appreciated. The third tip of course is, pass is which colour are you going to knit with. Again ask the parents but you can also do a bit of detective work. What colours do they like wearing and using themselves? What colours do they have in their home? Also, what colours have they used to create the nursery for the baby? And if you're at all unsure, then go for neutrals. That might be greys, beiges, mushrooms, even a navy blue, cream. And it will just mean that it's used with everything else as well. Definitely remember that a neutrals are a really useful tool with the knit along kits, we've got two colours that go well together and a neutral. Um, and I've done that with every single kit. We've got two colours and a neutral. And we have mushroom here with this um, last group of colours. So it's a really useful tool. Definitely use a neutral if you're at all confused or you know, you just don't know what to pick. Now, of course, I've only got four tips in this video because they're all particularly important. But this fourth one is very, very important. It's something to remember whenever you're knitting for someone who's busy. And parents, they got baby brain quite possibly, just things happen that aren't, they aren't expecting to happen. And then the laundry needs doing. Everything goes in the wash together. Don't double check the setting and a blanket or a hat or a bib that you've knitted goes in the washing machine with everything else and it shrinks. For my cousin's first baby and my sister's first baby I knitted blankets. It was cotton but it has a small percentage of wool in it. There's slightly different yarns for each baby but they had wool in nonetheless. Beautiful, ideal for the time of year that the baby was born nice and cosy. 
warm and soft yarn. Oh my goodness, it was a lovely merino yarn. I was so happy to knit with it for the babies. But it shrunk, even with that small percentage of wool in. Now I only knit with cotton for babies. And it's because it's cool in the summer, it's warm in the winter. It's easy to knit with, especially if you pick the right cottons. In the shop, I only sell shiny happy cotton from Wool and the Gang in the yarns that we knit baby blankets with. That is a beautiful yarn for knitting for babies. We're using Summerlight DK by Rowan for these baby hats. Both of those, they've ticked every single box for me for cotton yarns. And to be honest, I wouldn't knit with anything else now. I just do hope that they keep making these yarns for many, many years to come because I will be knitting with them. But yeah, make it easy to wash. It has to be simple. It has to make life easy. Both of the blankets that I knitted that have now shrunk are teddy bear blankets. The kids are happy with them. They absolutely love them. But they were supposed to be knitted and used by the babies. <laughs> so they didn't fulfil their purpose. They're now fulfilling a different purpose. And I'm quite happy with that. But I do wish I hadn't made that mistake and I hadn't got sucked into the idea of all these luxurious yarns will be so beautiful and so soft and so perfect for baby. They weren't. All of those hours of knitting that I put into each of those blankets were lost. So please make it easy to wash. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can go and check out the knit along and join us on that. Knit for parents so they're going to love what you knit and the babies will love wearing what we knit as well. See you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting. <laughs>